My daughter has a Jeep Compass and she wants to add, it's a baseline compass, it's a 2014, it does not have a backup cam or the GPS dash. <clears throat> so she bought this kit, just came in the mail yesterday, and I guess I'll be putting this in her car. So it has a whole dash panel, which has the screen in it. I guess those the AC vents and the heater controls. It's not very thick. I believe that's where the stereo is on the car. So I don't know if the whole stereo is located in this unit. It didn't come with very much directions. Got a bunch of plastic spoons to pry the dash apart. Got a couple of connectors. So you got the stereo connector there, another stereo type connector. This is the backup cam. Backup cam has a little bit of directions on how to plug that in. <clears throat> Which this thing has, I see video outputs or video feeds in here. Push the little plug. I guess the little plug goes in that one. The big plug. I'm not sure how this one works. Oh, maybe that goes in there. And then I've got this. Seems to be some kind of an antenna. Some USB plugs. And then it has a small direction pack, which isn't really direction pack, it's just a operating manual. So I guess I'm going to have to head out to the car and start pulling the car apart. Alright, we're going to pull off this panel out of this car. Let's get my uh, trim tool. Wedge that off. And that has a couple connectors behind it. Push a little tab down on that. Wiggle the connector out. And that goes into here. That unplugs your uh, climate controls. Just got to swap these components off. We'll have to swap these pieces out and this out to the new panel. So the screw, the uh, radio has four screws in the corners. I'll finish taking out this last screw. And the radio just slides out. And it has a couple plugs behind it. white one, gray one, and the antenna. So this is the stock panel that was in the car. This is the new panel with a touch screen in it. I guess they look like they're about the same. I, I got my, uh, my new radio test fit. I got the knobs reinstalled on the new faceplate. Got the AC vents on the new face plate. And the stereo, I got, I, I fit it and tested it. I uh, taped the wire pack together and this, whatever this black module is, was flopping around so I just taped it up. I put a little tape loom on this 
because where this goes in the car where the radio used to sit in this hole that wire is just gonna sit on this piece of metal I don't want it to get chafed on that edge so that uh, that loom will help keep that from getting chafed still working on the camera okay the camera is gonna go in the back of the car I'm gonna put it next to the license plate and then it has its plugs so the red one is the power goes to the black and the red the black I'm gonna ground someplace in the back of the car the red will go to a backup light video cable goes to its plug and that also has a power wire in it so I'll put the two power wires together so when the backup lights come on power will go through the light come through this go to the camera turn the camera on also go through this other leg this will go through the car until we get to the head unit behind the dash where the other end of this wire is video cable plugs in to its wire marked camera that will plug into I believe this is spot F and that goes into that plug I'm not sure what the two yellow ones are for one's marked uh, Wi-Fi antenna the other one's marked TX I think is transmit for something someplace this red wire has to hook up to something on this radio to wake the radio up for the reverse signal so I'm not sure how to hook that up yet. I gotta research that yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and install this unit and the backup camera. I'm gonna have to work on it later this afternoon. But at least I'll have the uh, the head unit in it and everything will function. I also have a problem with the radio. The Jeep radio has a different size plug than this hole. It does not fit. So there's an adapter. I just ordered that from uh, from the store. That'll be here in a couple days. So everything's going to work except for I don't have a radio signal from the antenna and I won't have a backup cam. Alright, my GPS antenna. I think it's supposed to go outside, but I'm not running this outside. And I'm not going to run the wire down the roof, down a drip rail or anything. Um, I'm going to try, because this is just plastic. It'll be under the windshield. In here, this is metal. So I'm going to put this Huck. I'll alcohol that off real good and stick that down. I don't know if it needs to be oriented any particular way. I'm going to put, it's going to be more or less horizontal with a wire facing to the rear of the car. And I don't know, we'll power it up and turn it on and see what happens, see if my uh, my heading reads the right way. Alright, I got the GPS module stuck to the uh, inside of the dash. I just zip tied the wires together. Alright, still here working on that camera. So there's my backup cam. I drilled a couple holes and screwed it to the bottom of this bracket for the uh, lift gate handle. Took the inner panels off it <coughs> and pulled these screws off and a couple push clips and the whole bracket comes off the back and I was able to take this wire off that runs I think that's a backup light there's a rubber grommet in there sorry you can't really see it the lights too dark in here there's a rubber grommet I pass my wire with that and it comes here I zip tied it it comes along this wire down there and I just fished it through the top part of the hinge area for the lift gate. I'm going to have to fish that down through this rubber grommet, come down inside the headliner, and then this pack of wires here. One of these probably comes down for this tail light, for the backup light. I'll tap into that to get the light. And I haven't seen a screw yet for the ground, but I'll find one. The coat hanger. Just a little bit of uh, rubber protectant <clears throat> for lubricant. Sprayed down this rubber boot. Got my wires on there. Got them taped to a pull string. And then, uh, like I said, lots of uh, rubber protectant for lube. 
help slide it through that rubber boot. I'll pop these uh, ends back in. You won't even, won't even see the wire. All right, we're done. Aside from the antenna, we're waiting for the adapter for that. But the, the video cable, I just taped up the red because I don't think that we need it. I think the car it has an optional backup cam. It automatically turns the this, this wiring that came with the kit. I think it, it plugs into the car harness and it's going to tell the, uh, tell the radio that the backup cam needs to come on. So I got the wires kind of tied up, kind of got a couple stacked zip ties in there. You got a little chafe protection and I'm going to put it in just like this and then uh, test it out. Got all the uh, quick connects started. Just click everybody in. That's a full install. Alright, the moment of truth. Put the key in. Got it started. Excellent, we have backup cam. Drive, or sorry, neutral, drive, neutral, reverse. It cuts the sound out too, and park.